Hey everybody, I just woke up, but today <clears throat> I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to be reviewing my Swiss Army knife that I got yesterday. And I lost a tooth. If you notice, I had this one lost, yeah. And on this channel, you're probably going to see two more being... Two more lost, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I just thought there was a snake on or something on my roof. Yeah, <clears throat> so... It's just your typical Swiss Army knife. If we start over here, we got a Phil <coughs> Phillips head screwdriver, nothing much, you know. And then we have an awl, I think it's called, which is for use for like cutting leather and poking holes in leather. Because leather is usually like kind of knife proof, I guess, or cut proof. I don't know. This is, <clears throat> I guess I'll start up here. See right here, these two things? There's a toothpick. Let me get it out. I have no nails. And then tweezers. Oh, and I have the little lock chain thingy. I don't know what it's called. I forgot the name. It's like a carabiner. Yes. Tweezers. So, you know, when I'm carving or something with the video, I can show you guys. Which, the carving videos are probably going to be kind of long. Because I don't really know how to edit. So, or time lapse. So, you guys might as well just watch like 10 minutes of it and then leave. I don't know. Do not follow that direction. Never mind that. Can't get the big blade out. Uh, ow. This is my the big blade that I'm going to use for carving. This is for, like, just carving, you know, cutting rope and for hay bales and stuff. You know, your farm stuff. I don't live by on a farm, by the way. But, yeah, it's got, um, I'm not really sure if this is a bottle opener or a can opener, because there's two of these, look. And let me get it. See, there's this one, so call this one number one. And call... This one number two which comment number one and number two if you guys know like put in the comments like number one is for this and then number two is for this because i don't really know what they're for and then i got the mini blade right here so that's really helpful for carving so it's really nice. It's stainless steel, too, so it's not going to rust. It's got a little thing so I could, like, put it on a backpack or something. Not when I go to school. That's illegal. Um, but <clears throat> I'd give this, let's see, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it a good 9. It does the job. I might prick myself every once in a while. The other one wasn't from this, but this one was, I got myself on the wood. I got a big old splinter because I was c cutting lines and I was going, and I, <clears throat> I guess it wasn't weak enough and I cut myself because it was kind of sharp. Not on this. <clears throat> yeah, so do not cut yourself with these. Do not play with knives. I have to say that because YouTube's very restricted with their content. No offense to YouTube. But I'd give this a good 9 out of 10. It's very portable. It's And you can also fit it, fit it in your pocket. It's got a toothpick and tweezers, which are very helpful. <clears throat> it's got a screwdriver, which if I were them, I would have made, instead of an awl, I would have put in a flathead screwdriver. But it's still I like it. It still does the job. And I could probably use the awl for a flathead screwdriver. But... I think I'm going to call it there. Like the video. Um, comment. Like I said. Comment down below. Which one is which. Because I literally have no idea. And I will pin the comment that gets it right. I guess. Or I'll pin a comment. And yeah. Well. Have a nice day. 
because I'm posting this in the morning and most of you are probably going to watch it at day or night or morning, I guess. I just have to say that. Well, like the video, subscribe for more epic content, um, more epic reviews. I have some fishing stuff that I'm going to review soon, so yeah, but just subscribe, please. I need the subs. I need the subs. <laughs> Goodbye.